<laughs> hey, what's up? Jocelyn McClellan here, and I want to show you how I do loose waist. So I was like, you know, I'm we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, get some makeup on, and then I'm gonna show you how I make some loose waves with my short hairstyles. So stay tuned. <laughs> Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. Hi guys, what's up? All right, I already told you that I was doing loose waves today. So, yeah. waves is a funky word. Hair waves is a funky word. So we're just gonna break this down real quick. Like, a wave is when your hair goes like this. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're doing for today, but I'm gonna do a really loose wave. So with my short hair, doing a bigger wand, it's not gonna be a wave that lasts me days and days. So this is a 32 millimeter wand. I'm just gonna put this puppy right in here. Ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go and get this heated up. While it's heating up, I'm just gonna say hi. What up? All right, I'm gonna pull my hair up. I don't, with this, it seriously is pretty fast. It's going to be a loose beach wave type look. It is not gonna be something that is tight. It's not gonna be something that's a curl that's gonna last me days and days, but I will say, yeah, I'm just gonna take these out. I will say y'all like it when I have that loose wave on day two, day three hair, so. We're gonna check this baby. Now, all I did to my hair beforehand is I put three things in it. Glaze hair lotion, whip mousse, salt and sea spray. And all I'm doing now is curling. Um, and then I will put in this marula oil that helps with my curls and kind of helps it get that beach wave look even more. So we're just gonna curl this on up. At the underside, there's not, I mean, you saw it goes around one time. That's it. So you're not gonna see a ton of curl come out of this when I pull it out. Just one itty bitty lem, lem, itty bitty, that doesn't, small, small curl. And as I get in the back more, it's even gonna be smaller. So if yours is shorter than my hair, then what you can do is make sure that you use a flat iron on the underside. And so it's not gonna be ton, but at least it doesn't look st stiff straight. Use a glove if you've never used a wand before, so you are not worried about um, burning your fingers because it really, truly does not go around very much. So right now in the back, let me show you this. I just have it going like this to try and give it a little bit of a curl. And that's all we're going for right here in the back. Turn it upright a little. There we go. Other hand, so I work on the hand that is opposite of, so I go over on the, over my head to get more volume. This is a way to get volume. If you don't want volume, you don't need to go up and over. You would actually just hold it down like this to get it, but because I wanna get as much volume as possible and get it as close to the root as possible, then we are good to go. See, almost done with this bottom. It's pretty fast. Like, because we're doing such big pieces, and because my hair is so short, then it goes pretty quickly. So I've had people ask me what's the difference between a curling iron and a curling wand, and it just comes down to the kind of curl that it gives you. Um, a curling wand is gonna be able to give you a couple different um, types of wraps. Uh, my favorite one is a rope wrap. Right now though, see how that's flat on the wand right there? That is more of a flat wrap. So this bottom part is more of a rope wrap and this top part is more of a, a flat wrap. So that's what is the difference too between the two. So they just give you a little bit different of a look. I'm gonna continue to do this going around. See, it's just a super loose wave. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be light. And again, if you don't wanna get a ton of volume and have it up high, then you're just gonna do this more down at the side of your head. But where my hair is this length, I wouldn't be able to curl it very well if I did it down lower. So in the front, I might, we'll see. But all up and around, I wanna try and get me as much um, volume as possible. The products that I put in my hair before I blow dried, those are products, one is to have UV and um, thermal protection and for volume and for care. Like 
protecting the hair in like adding hydration things like that the second one the whip mousse that's for adding volume and then the third one the salt and sea spray that's to help me really get that texture the mousse will help me get that texture too but that's what all those three products are those are what i love and you guys always 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 in my videos make sure that you look at the description below because i always link everything but i also give you some information that i might not mention in the video so it's very helpful for you to follow that description and then as always if you guys love the videos that i do or you like them and you feel like it's something that you always want to have then like and subscribe to this video and then you'll be able to have me you can even turn on the bell wherever the bell is ding 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 um and then you can be alerted for when i post my new tutorials i try really hard to do tutorials weekly so hopefully that helps you remember all right, I'm just gonna whip through this, and then when we get to the um, top, then I will come back and show you, but then you don't have to hear me talking throughout this whole thing, so I'm just gonna um, get this row done, and then I'll come right back at you. All right, so we're getting closer to this top part, and so you see how I have this sat up, because I'm push pulling it up away from the scalp to get as much volume as possible. I'm gonna show you the difference in what I'm talking about, what I mean. So to get that volume, see I have that little that it gives me. And if I don't want the volume, I'm coming down lower like this. Okay, so that's gonna make a difference for if you want it more flat or if you want it like so. So it's just gonna be a lower and then you don't have that volume up there. So that's all you have to do if you want it or if you don't your choice you choose i personally like my volume straight up and in the back i want to give it that lift up as well remember in the back too people struggle with it the most is when they don't have it being held straight vertical they want to turn it more horizontal and I know I had this turned horizontal when I was down in here but if you can really remember to hold it vertical in the back of your head like that that's gonna help you get that curl that you want even better so I put it on kind of horizontal but then I turn it just like that you like to look at me through this cord <laughs> All right. All right, on the top, make them bigger pieces, make them smaller pieces, this one's small. I make them different all throughout, kind of just, because then you have cute little pieces and then you can do bigger ones. In this front, I'm gonna give it a bigger one and see the volume that's coming up and over. Yep. Try and get each piece as smooth as possible. And parting off the hair is super important with this and not just like pulling pieces from all over. Parting the hair is gonna make your hairstyle even better. All right, so this is the part where I take this marula oil right here. I like to spray it on my hand and then I kind of just scrunch my pieces together. So super loose waves, right? Super fun, super loose. And then you can make them, you can keep them together as much as you want or you can um, mess them up as much as you want. So not too much volume is up at the top, but just enough to give it a little oomph. Oomph, 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 oomph. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> All right, peeps. And we're done. I'll spray my hair. And we are done for this easy, very easy, loose wave curl. All right, so I've messed with mine a bit to really make that look be super loose. So it's got that wave to it, but it's just a super, super loose wave. Um, I love it like this, and I get compliments a lot with it like this. So if you wanna achieve just that really loose wave, that loose curl, use a bigger wand. And there you go.
All right, you guys, so if there is anything that you need from me, you know where to find me. Um, I love hair tutorials, I love makeup tutorials, I love style, I love keeping things light. So if there's anything that you want, you wanna see more, then message me and tell me or comment below with what you see. Um, if you're wondering what type of wand or curler or size, please put in the comments of what it is that you think that you might like or that you already know you like, a size that you like, or if you need some help with that. Again, you can find me on Facebook, Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan. You can find me at my website, fitmissionmakeup.com, where you can get color match for your makeup or just see what I'm doing. You can find me on Instagram, my very, boy, very, very, very favorite, jocelyn.mcclellan, of course here, and Pinterest too. If you guys need anything, holla holla. We'll see you next time. Bye.